and get to the next one so I can go over it. So in the first one, again, ladies and gentlemen, what we're looking at is to identify when is our discontinuity. Well, our discontinuity is going to be what values are not a part of our domain in this case. So we set our denominator equal to 0, and we add 1. So x equals 1 is not defined. Since it's not defined, we know that it's a discontinuity for the graph. Um, now, could I factor this out like I did in those previous examples? No. So guess what? This is non-removable. And this is going to create an asymptote. The domain, though, remains the same. Negative, negative infinity to our discontinuity, union 1 to infinity. Okay. But now, do you guys see kind of the difference between the whole and the asymptote? What did you write down there, homework? OK. Um, and the slide will be up there as well for you to look at for horizontal asymptotes. So you guys can see when it's non-removable, it creates an asymptote, not a whole. And then if you guys graph that, let's go and take a look again at the graph. And what 